Welcome everyone to our 2018 Christmas special episode. This is a bit of a tradition over the last four years, and in the past we've covered various Christmas themed biological topics, from Crylophosaurus to Fossil Father Christmas. So this year we thought we would take a look at a very festive species of marine worm, Christmas tree worms. These organisms are a kind of polychaete, commonly known as bristle worms, and inhabit tubes they create by boring into corals and then secreting a calcareous substance around themselves. Found in coral reefs throughout tropical waters across the world, the most notable feature of these animals, and the reason for their name, are the two incredibly colourful spiral plumes that extend from their bodies, which happen to resemble Christmas trees. These elegant structures are made up of radiales, which are sort of tentacles that appear very feathery as hair-like appendages stick out of them, and they are used for both feeding and in respiration. The Christmas tree worms primarily feed on phytoplankton, floating around in the surrounding water by filter feeding, since the plumes are able to trap these organisms in appendages and the mucus secreted on them, before they are then directed to the digestive tract. The food particles are sorted by size, with some of the larger pieces not being used, and bits of sand getting deposited in storage sacks so they can be utilised in constructing tubes. These worms, once they have built their tubular homes, will not move from them again, instead simply remaining enclosed in the coral they have borrowed into, with only the Christmas tree-like plumes visible from the outside. They don't always actually burrow into the coal themselves though, since all they have to do is be close to the coral tissue, subsequently forcing the polyps to build around them. If they sense a disturbance in the water around their tubular homes, the creatures will quickly withdraw the plumes and plug up the gaps in the structure, in order to protect themselves from any potential predators. A few minutes later, the plumes will slowly emerge back into the water, cautiously testing for any signs of danger, before fully re-extending in order to resume filter feeding and respiration. Since these polychaetes have a very sedentary lifestyle, the way in which they reproduce has to account for this. They are not actually asexual organisms, and there are male and female Christmas tree worms, so they must eject their eggs and sperm into the water, where hopefully they are able to meet, become fertilised and form larvae. Once the larvae has developed, they attach to more pieces of coral, and begin the process of constructing their own tubes. These organisms are pretty easily spotted and recognised by divers, due to their incredible colours and tree-shaped plumes, and make for some great underwater photos. They also make for a great Christmas themed video, so we hope you enjoyed watching it. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and have a very happy holiday. How a very merry Crylophosaurus. Quill, quill. You know what? I'll do my own one. Have a very merry. Have a. Um, have a merry Dinosaurus. Dinosaurus. Oh! Christ's Anosaurus. Have a merry. Just, just have a nice Christmas. And remember to subscribe to both my channel and Benji Thomas. It is Benji Thomas, isn't it?